Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we're taking a look at Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 by Hot Toys. Wipers! Wipers! There he is. <clears throat> He's a small dumb animal. Little Rocket and a even little Groot. Yep. Little Groot, a uh, big gun. And uh, this rocket came with two head sculpts, which makes it much better than the first rocket that they made. Um, I like the fact that I can have Rocket either just kind of like growling or screaming, laughing maniacally, depending on how you want him posed. You tilt him back a little bit, get him looking up, he's just laughing away as he's shooting. Um, this guy came with a lot of stuff. Uh, he came with, this is the deluxe edition. Uh, the deluxe edition comes with the jet pack. That's a little scary to put on, you have to take Rocket's arms off to get the vest around him and then put the back on it again. Um, once it's on there though, it's not going anywhere. Um, this gun is also part of the exclusive thing, isn't it? Yeah, this gun was also part of the deluxe edition. Um, before we get any further, I would like to give a shout out to Frankie Con and Hot Comics because I actually won this at a small little local comic con and uh, it was awesome. Yeah. So. Thanks, Hot Comics. Thank you, Frankie Con. Uh, look forward to winning something again next year. Woo! <laughs> um, this figure also came with a separate backpack piece. Just has a little knob on the back here that when you take off his uh, jetpack, you can just put that on. It looks like his little backpack. Okay. Um, came with a smaller handgun, laser blaster thing, triple barrel pistol. Uh, something else that kind of is reminiscent of like Han Solo's blaster. Yeah, it's like a, s a space mauser. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like how that sounds. Space mauser. Uh, a pile of body parts. <laughs> a bunch of hands and feet. <clears throat> he came with uh, two extra feet. Um, I think these are probably more so for him standing like on his hind legs or something like that because it looks like they're definitely. Mm -hmm pushing downward, more like how a raccoon's feet are, instead of just being flat-footed. Uh, two closed fists. Looks like a gripping left hand, as well as the left hand that he is on right now is for the front of the gun. He's got a open left hand, open right hand, and another gripping right hand. So, eight hands total, two head sculpts, three guns, and a best friend named Groot. Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you the retail on this guy. I think he's around like three. I bet he's kind of expensive for the size, isn't he? Well, he's expensive for the size, but the deluxe is also sold out now. Oh, um, so I, yeah, but what was he retail? Not what he's worth um, now. <clears throat> I think he was like around like two fifty. I, I think I can. I'm not a hundred percent on that. All right. Um, packaging is the same as the Guardians two. Mm -hmm. It's like the. The crate box with the character space. Yeah. Kind of looks like a little speaker amp or something, or like a tape so you deck. Got, <clears throat> I mean, it's cool that they're all different colors. So Rockets is like the pink to the orange. It's got the big stereo thing with Rockets' face. It's got the stickers on the sides, the knobs, all that junk that's written in here. Then you got your inside uh, pamphlet folder. I don't know what it's called. That goes in just like the other ones. Awesome mix volume two is right in there. And then you got your typical hot toys cradle with all the plastic goodies and the accoutrement. The, yeah. The accoutrement. Um I was actually surprised with how much directions they had on this guy. <laughs> it's like this is just some tiny little figure with a couple hands and some guns, but a lot of little pieces though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, be careful with his whiskers because they are rooted. Um, I've heard some horror stories, people saying that they have fallen out. Just rip them out of his head. I don't know what you're trying to do with the whiskers. Like, are you trying to like I don't know, pose as whiskers? I don't get it. Um, well, we know some pros and cons for setting this guy up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pros he looks awesome. And all the like metal work and stuff looks really cool. Tons of awesome detail on the guns, little like uh, singed barrels. Uh, his little jumpsuit is kind of restricting because it's actually one piece, so it's a little restricting on the legs. 
The arms are completely open though, so those are fine. But the arms, head, and tail are all just on like a ball joint that pops off, so you can manipulate parts. Um, and they like to come off very easily. Yeah. So like we were putting the jetpack on, it was just like stuff was falling apart on him. But I mean, once you get I, it all in place, then you can kind of place, put it together. And I also think his tail in. was designed to, like. I've seen people do it online where they use his tail to almost lean him. To like, like stem. Him, yeah. But I don't like him leaning that far back, and I would rather Did rely on the actual the stand that he came with. <laughs> um, uh, the little pegs on his hands are a little scary because they're tiny. I'm sure you can't even see it. Um, you know, like normal hot toys are a little thicker, so it's not as scary. And you're like trying to cram them into an arm or whatever. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to snap that thing like a twig. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> his tail does pop off really easy, just like that. Done. Uh, his arms are the same. Twist, pull. Oh my god, he's broken. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and then the head sculpt, same thing. Standard hot toys, just kind of twist, just like that. The sculpt that is on the body right now, the more like growling, not screaming sculpt, is the same sculpt as the. Rocket from the first movie, just the different paint job. Is it the same sculpt? Yeah. So this has a, a darker, more brownish, and beige comic, comic accurate. Yeah, more comic colored. And Definitely with like the little raccoon eyes. The other one was kind of more of a grayish brown. Um, uh, yeah. So he's a he's a little loose. He can fall apart easily. Uh, but once you get him set up, though, he looks amazing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Once all the pieces are in place, he holds together fine, and he looks awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> cool little details all over him, though. Um, this gun is a little crazy. I was actually really surprised with the fact that he can actually hold the gun up. I was not expecting that yeah. with how heavy-duty this gun is. I mean, this isn't a light plastic gun. Um, so it's pretty crazy, because I bet this gun weighs as much as he does, and he's able to hold it up. Um, yeah, what's the, what's the height on this guy? Check the height on Rocket, and then we can check the height on Groove. <laughs> He's about six and a quarter. And Groot is about one and a quarter. Oh, baby Groot. Little, little baby Groot. Little baby Groot. Like I said before, baby Groots, every Guardians of the Galaxy 2 character has come with one of these. Why hasn't the Guardians 2 Gamora come out yet? Is that not out yet? No. Tons of detail on this figure, uh, cool little accessories, the jetpack, like I said, this is the deluxe one, so it comes with the jetpack and the big hand cannon. Um, the detail's all there, the paint application looks really, really good. Uh, he's got his little pouches, his belt, his buckles, hoagies, grinders. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot more I can add to it. Uh, the figure looks cool. It, it is kind of weird that it came with like this, this little clip. That's supposed to go, it's a see-through clip that's supposed to go on the inside of, like, his collar for Groot. <clears throat> but when you put Groot on it and you attach it to his collar, it's kind of like Groot's just, like, elevating in the air, just, like, floating. Because the Star-Lord figure had a magnet in his coat and a magnet on Groot, so, like, he, he could sit, sit on his, on his shoulder. shoulder. Yep. And then there was uh, the Yondu, where he's, like, stretching his hands out. And then this one, he's, like, dancing... But he has this weird clear clip, and he just like floats next to Rocket. So it's like if you put this in here, he's just floating in a really odd way, and I don't understand why they did it that way. <laughs> I just don't. It kind of looks like he's standing on his shoulder, but <clears throat> yeah, it's just like a weird clear clip. But also, it's not. A, it's not enough space. Like unless you wanted him to be like, I, like, I don't know where else that you could clip him. Cause that's where it shows in the instructions. Put them there. Oh, that's not gonna stick. The uh, his stand is also like a dynamic stand, so you can tighten this up top and then have him flying with his jetpack or something instead of just the standard crotch hanger. It's actually the name of my metal band. It's crotch crotch, crotch hanger. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, all in all, I think this is a. a it's a great figure. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of the comic book accuracy that they're going with with the darker tones. Mm -hmm. um, tons of detail, tons of cool accessories. Um, 
Thank you, Hot Comics. Thank you, Frankie Con. For this is the best way to get this figure game. is to win it because for the price, it's such a small figure. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so hard to justify. It, it is over two hundred dollars <clears throat> for a little tiny six-inch rocket. Yeah, that's how I felt about my uh, my Empire Strikes Back Yoda. Yeah, it's like two hundred bucks for a guy that he's smaller than Rocket. He's like this big. He's like I think he's like three and a half inches tall. <clears throat> Given his base and stuff is like the Dagobah base, the floating rocks, and like a couple LEDs and all that. It's cool. And two, two head sculpts. Kind of Should've come with the entire hut with actual porridge you could eat. I didn't <laughs> like porridge, so <laughs> hot toys can keep that. Um, you know, you guys, never had Dagobah porridge, you don't know. <laughs> obviously it's not that good because Yoda tried stealing Luke's food instead of eating his own damn porridge, so... It's not that it's not that good because we see him die <laughs> and he <laughs> ate the porridge. He ate the porridge! <laughs> um, you guys have any questions, comments, make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think. Let us know what you're looking forward to. Uh, that's that. That's Rocket. <clears throat> I'm gonna get that eyeball.